Medical experts are finding a new and potentially deadly effect of COVID-19 infection, and some patients are developing blood clots. Well, one of those patients is an athletic 22-year-old Jacksonville woman. She has no pre-existing health conditions. The young woman's mother spoke with News for Jax. And we found out they formed in her lungs. They weren't what they call deep vein thrombosis, DVTs that form in your leg and then travel. They actually formed in her lung, which is even scarier. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignet joining us live from the Duval County Health Department. And Eric, I understand you know this family, so what are they going through? Yes, this is pretty bad. Let me tell you, this is uh, has not been a fun roller coaster ride for this young COVID-19 patient because just days after she tested positive for the virus, she ended up in the ICU, uh, but eventually was allowed to go home. Uh, once she got home, she ended up back in the emergency room where doctors learned that she had developed multiple blood clots in her lungs. Now she was uh, tr began treatment for those blood clots, however, and was allowed to go home. However, just yesterday. She ended up back in the emergency room because of complications. Doctors here at the Duval County Health Department tell me that doctors all across the U.S. are beginning to notice blood clots in many COVID-19 patients. The mother of a 22-year-old COVID patient whose identity we agreed to protect says she's glad she and her husband pushed doctors to test her daughter for blood clots. They say it became apparent her daughter was not getting better as she battled a COVID-19 infection. And all I can think is, what if we hadn't pushed? Because not every level of medical professional seems to be aware of the tie-in to the blood clot factor with the coronavirus. A scan revealed nearly 10 clots in her daughter's lungs. It only takes one clot to travel to a person's heart to become fatal. Dr. Pauline Roll of the Duval County Health Department says blood clots in certain COVID patients is something doctors are noticing across the U.S. Do we know how these blood clot clots are formed in these patients? Um, so COVID-19 causes an overwhelming inflammatory response in the body. And with that, um, blood clots are, are one of those uh, phenomena that occur as a result of that. Dr. Rowe says it's hard to predict which COVID patients will develop clots because although they are seeing it in severe COVID cases, they are also seeing clot formations in mild COVID cases. As for that 22-year-old Jacksonville woman with clots in her lungs, she's now on blood thinner treatment. In theory, everything should be okay, but they don't really know how coronavirus progresses. Um, so there's no guarantee it'll follow a normal blood clot pattern. So obviously we're watching her very carefully she's getting follow-up blood work uh, regularly and she's being really careful right now the health department says if you recently tested positive for COVID-19 and had previous issues with blood clots, you need to get in contact with your doctor to see if you can get tested for any new clots that may have formed in your body. Uh, also, uh, to also get the appropriate treatment as well. Now, coming up at 11, uh, you're gonna, if you think that just because you just got over uh, the coronavirus and that you're immune from being reinfected, you might want to think again. Reporting live from outside the Duval County Health Department, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.